been a quiet morning so far, but we just got told that three boats are coming in and so we ran down to the shore and you can see one right here behind me. Here they come. Boat three. Boat four. Spotted a boat that was paddling. I think their engine broke down. They were circling for a couple of minutes. Um, now we're signaling to them and they're heading this way. Like five minutes, we got 20 volunteers out here waiting for them. To the camp where we've been working to get dry clothes and some food and some directions. We'll see you soon. drive a couple of people back but it'll take like 45 minutes or an hour for the refugees to make it back so we're gonna start getting things ready.
driving to Scala now, which is another camp a little bit uh, up the beach from where we are. Depending on where they land, they are sent to one or the other. Just pulled over for a boat that arrived about 10 minutes ago, full of families, trying to get them changed. Handing out some socks for people who are wet. Next campsite's a little bigger and provides some tents for people who stay overnight. So they don't let them to go because they don't want them to see what happened. That the Balkans are closing the borders. Some countries like Croatia, Slovenia, maybe should A lady was telling me that they had to hide in the woods for three days, that they didn't have any food, they were keeping warm with a fire. And that's why they managed to keep their possessions. Um, but she said it, it's very difficult over there at the moment.